This is a highly radical group that seeks to overthrow the American system of government, to explicitly to overthrow law enforcement, even to overthrow the Western prescribed nuclear family, which was on their About Us page, who we are, until just about a week ago when they realized it wasn't very good PR, so they took it down. Based on what you know about the Jacob Blake case, do you think that the officer involved should be charged? No, certainly not. I mean, the, the issue of Jacob Blake, the more evidence has come out, we see this is a guy who had a warrant out for his arrest because of an accusation of sexual assault against the woman who called the cops in this case. He then resisted arrest. He had cops with guns drawn. He walks to a car that had a weapon in it and had the woman's children in the car. Now imagine, the cop waits until the very last second to pull the trigger. Imagine if he didn't pull the trigger, what would have happened? This guy would have driven away with his woman's kids in the car, and what would, then there probably still would have been riots. They would have said, well, these cops don't care about black lives. They let this criminal drive away with these kids. Though this would never have happened to a white family. I mean, the, the police, this police officer in particular, but the police generally, are damned if they do and damned if they don't in this country. We now have a, a group that is a highly organized, very well-funded activist group called BLM that is avowedly Marxist. Patrice Colors, who founded the organization, says that she and her co-founder, Alicia Garza, are trained Marxists. The third co-founder, Opal Tometi, has been photographed smiling in photos with the communist dictator of Venezuela. This is a highly radical group that seeks to overthrow the American system of government, to explicitly to overthrow law enforcement, even to overthrow the Western prescribed nuclear family, which was on their About Us page, who we are, until just about a week ago when they realized it wasn't very good PR, so they took it down. It's still up there on the archives, though. You've got that group on the one hand, radical, anti-American, avowedly Marxist. And you got the cops on the other. And I guess, you know, there are some bad cops, just like these, you know, all human institutions are flawed. But it's very clear, the data show, the, the cops are a, a force for good in this country. There was a poll that was done of black voters over whether or not they wanted to defund the police, as BLM says that they do. Four out of, more than four out of five, it was 81% or so, said they do not want to defund the police. Of course not, because the police are the ones who save lives, protect lives, and protect justice. Between those two organizations, I'm with the cops. <laughs>